sometimes in politics you have to get your hands dirty, but federal industry minister Tony Clement got his feet wet helping to rescue a woman up in cottage country. As we first told you last night, Clement dove into a river fully clothed after a swimmer screamed for help. CTV's Natalie Johnson joins us now with this story. And Natalie, we know there's a deadly undertow there, but this story has a happy ending. Well, Tom, there was a very happy ending to this story thanks to a community effort to rescue the woman in distress. And with this story comes yet another reminder of why it is just so important to be careful while in the water. The, uh, the swimmer had been shooting the rapids. Less than 24 hours after a near drowning at this Port Sydney dam, and industry minister Tony Clement is among a group of cottage country neighbours being hailed as heroes. This uh, young woman, this young adult, very hysterical, said, help us, dial 911, my friend is in the river drowning. Clement was just sitting down to dinner when the knock on his door came. He and his family bolting down to the water to try and help the swimmer in distress. Further downstream, there's rapids, and she could have been, if she was still alive, she would have been in grave danger. She wasn't moving at all, and uh, it was a little, little freaky. Um, but then we, um, we started to see her kicking her feet and her friends were in hysterics on the shore. Clement and his neighbor Amanda both began swimming toward her, but both were thwarted by the current. So Clement's wife and father-in-law raced around to the opposite bank, tossing a life jacket to the swimmer and helping pull her ashore. Part of my and my neighbor's job was to keep her talking, keep her conscious. We didn't want her to go into shock. An ambulance arrived shortly after that, relieved to neighbors spooked by the incident. Our family's been here 200 years in Fort Sydney. And it's been six drownings here. That's a lot of drownings. These rapids actually used to be a lot more dangerous. And due to safety concerns about 20 years ago, authorities installed stop logs at the top of the slope to control the flow of water. But there is still a very strong undercurrent here, made worse when water levels are high, like they are this year. It's really strong today compared to a couple weekends ago. It's, uh, it's hard to get out of the water, even, even at the bottom, you know. The scare, a reminder to everyone in this cottage community about the risks of swimming in unpredictable currents. The importance of extra precaution in unfamiliar waters on everyone's minds here today as they praise all the people who leapt into action. The fact that everybody worked together, my neighbours, my family, we were able to prevent the tragedy from happening. Able to prevent tragedy this time, and they hope in the future too. And the incident, of course, happened in Tony Clement's Muskoka riding, which is full of beautiful lakes and rivers. But Clement says this incident should not deter people from enjoying those bodies of water, water rather that they should just make sure they are familiar with the currents, familiar with the depth of water before going swimming. Reporting live, Natalie Johnson. Back to you, Andrea.